try, he's coming back up. Let's go, let's go. Oh, 57, nice. The white light to go as hard as he can. We wanted to repeat some of the test measures today. We've gone through five weeks of pre-season up, up until this point. So we basically wanted to reevaluate how the boys have done in that first block. It tells us where certain players are at physically and if they can cope with what we demand from the game, then we can base the rest of the, the pre-season's training on that. And there won't be any big changes to what we plan, but just some subtle adjustments based on, as I say, where, where players have delivered physically. It's never a nice one, the Bronco. I think it's more mentally challenged than it is physically. Obviously, it does it does hurt. It pushes boys to the limits. You know, they want to get beat their time from the first time we did it. So, and uh, I think yesterday you crossed the board. We did that. But yeah, it's a mental challenge as well as physical. I think we're going to have to work for that. It's been amazing. Like for myself, coming to full-time environment, um, it's something new. It's a new challenge. But I think. As a team, we bonded very quickly. I think it really shows out on the pitch. You know, the boys put the intensity, putting the effort in, and the skill sets. It's on up, up, and up. Great line, Joe. To cut straight to the serious stuff, we're two weeks away from our first game. So, um, you know, suddenly everything just steps up another gear. Everything the coach is on our scrutinising is going to be around selection. It's making sure that you know all the training, all the performances that the players put in between now and the 18th of September start to matter. And you know every player wants to put himself in the best position possible to be wearing the shirt or being involved in that squad uh, for the first league campaign game. Come into this game phase now, there is that competition for places. So we've had the togetherness. We're all a great bunch of friends. That's obviously going to be tested now on the pitch. You know your boys in the same position fighting for that starting lineup. So. That will challenge what we are as a team, but at the same time, it pushes each other. We've been really uh, focused on that competitive edge, you know, getting the best out of each other, about that high performance. So I think it's going to challenge boys, but it's going to get the best out of everyone. When it gets tough, when you start blowing and it gets a bit heated, you have to look to the people next to you and go, you know, we've been through this before, we've been through all the horrible running. You know, this is only a couple of minutes now, we need to get through this. All, all it takes is a look, and you know you've been through a lot already in four to six weeks, and that's what gets you through these, these sessions. If you had an elevator pitch for prop, what would it be? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> Look, it's, it's obviously, there's, there's basic individual stuff you need to be. You need to have a good level of base strength and good level of mobility and stuff. But like I said with the scrum, there's eight men pushing. It's not just it's not just one on ones. So it's massively to build them connections, especially with hookers, especially with your second rows. You know, we have to. There's a big element of trust there. We have to trust each individual's doing their part. And the sum of our parts will be will give us scrum penalties and will give us you know give us the rewards that we we should deserve if we get everything right. What we need, we spoke about yesterday, was the club being competitive and especially the squad members being competitive. And now with the games around the corner, that first unit session there, we you know we started to we started to not lumps out of each other a little bit, but in a good way. You know, lads' detail was on point, and that's the only way we're going to get better as a club and as individuals is by pushing each other. Uh, we've got to select three teams before the league campaign. We've got Van, which is going to be a tough game. You know, missing out by one point to be playing in the um, in the top 14. You've got Leicester Tigers. Uh, then you've got Sale Sharks. It doesn't get any easier. But um, you know, hopefully the guys are going to learn from from played in level of intensity and physicality that'll put them in good stead for the season. We need to recondition our bodies to that live aspect of the game. There's only so much you can do in training week in, week out in terms of body on and life stuff. So to get a practice run, we need our bodies to be reconditioned, make sure that we know what sort of shape we're in and know we're in a good place. And we take confidence that first game in Van. I mean, going to a French team first trip away is going to be physical. So we have to get the bodies prepared for that. <laughs>